Welcome to QuickBooks Online Accountant Books Review. If you're like me, Books Review is one of your favorite new features in QuickBooks, and now Intuit has made it even better. Let's take a look at the latest additions to Books Review. Intuit has added three new features, and they are Setup, Client Requests, and Wrap Up. We'll use a sample company file created for this video. Let's get started. We're in the dashboard of our demo company, and there are two ways to access Books Review. The first is from the Accountant Tools drop-down menu, and the second is from the left navigation bar. Simply hover over Books to Tax and choose Books Review. Now, the default view is typically going to be monthly, so what I want you to do is click on the monthly drop-down and choose Cleanup, and that way we'll see all three new features, Setup, Wrap-up, and Client Requests. Let's get started with setup and we'll look at the first section, which is company settings. This is going to include the industry, tax entity, and accounting method, the first month of your fiscal year, and the book's closing date. You'll also see the subscription level, if payroll is active in the file, and if your sales tax is enabled. And finally, you'll see any apps that are connected to your file. That might be Dext or Pluto or any of the number of apps that are available for QuickBooks Online. If you want to make any changes to the company settings, you'll look for the blue Edit Settings hyperlink, click on it, and Account and Settings will open where you'll make any changes, click Save, and then you'll be back to Books Review. Now, just like other places in Books Review, we want to make sure that we change the status. So we're going to come over here to the Status drop-down menu, and we're going to choose Done. Let's move to the second section, which is Financial Statements. This is going to provide you with one-click access to the balance sheet and to the profit and loss reports. All you need to do is click the blue Get Report, and this will open in a second window. Let's move now to the Opening Balance Adjustments. And this allows you to make opening balance adjustments where you simply enter the beginning statement balance. The difference to adjust will be calculated automatically. So we can see the beginning books balance here for January 2022, and maybe I'm going to spot something that's not correct. For example, prepaid expenses, and maybe that should have been $500. I'm also going to change the visa as well. We'll just put a number in here of $750. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my adjusting equity account. In this case, I'm going to choose retained earnings. Then I simply put a check mark next to those accounts that I want to adjust, and I'm going to click Add Adjustment. QuickBooks creates a journal entry for the adjustments. We can review the date, the accounts, and the description, and then we're going to click the X in the upper right-hand corner. That transaction is saved as soon as you click Add Adjustment. Let's move down now to the next section, Potential Issues. The first is disconnected bank feeds. So if there are any issues with the banks that you have connected, it will show here. Next is going to be Accounts Without Activity for More Than 90 Days. So you'll want to review the list of accounts and make changes as necessary or note the information and then again change that status. Finally, we come to additional items, which is our to-do checklist. And QuickBooks provides us with default items on our checklist. Notice here that these are chart of accounts related tasks, so you can click the link and that will take you directly to the chart of accounts to do any modifications or cleanups as necessary. One thing to note is that you can always customize your books review by clicking add under the additional items. And then you can add whichever tasks you feel are appropriate to your customer. All right, I'm gonna scroll back up to the top and once my setup is complete, I can move on to reviewing transactions. What you might wanna do is change from cleanup to monthly and that way, the setup goes away. I'm done with that, so now I can switch to my monthly view. Okay, transaction review. This is a great place to see how client requests can help answer some of the questions we might have about our open issues. Let's scroll down just a little and start with our uncategorized transactions. There are three transactions here that we need some assistance with from the client. 
what we're going to do is select all and we're going to click the action to ask client. QuickBooks creates the request from the right hand side drawer. It fills in the information for title and date and details. I can change any of that information if I want. And then I'm going to scroll down and notice that this one request actually has the three items on the individual request. So an expense, a deposit, and another expense. If I want, I can attach a document and then I simply click share to share with my client. Notice that the notify client is toggled on, which means that they'll get an email or a phone notification. Notice that the client info column now says waiting. What happens is that the client can now see that when they sign into their QuickBooks online in the My Accountant area. Let's go there now and you can see the request. So when they click into the request, they can go ahead and answer questions about the request. For example, our first expense, they can open the expense. This is for Home Depot and they can say what they bought and maybe it was shovels. And then mystery deposit, maybe it was a shareholder loan. And then finally, the third expense was a restaurant. So we're going to say personal expense. And then we're going to click done. Now on our side, we're going to see those as answered. So let's go back to our books review. And when we look at those transactions, we now see that the client info column has been updated. If we scroll up to the top, we can also access all of our client requests by clicking on the drop down and selecting view all requests. Let's look at the final feature wrap up. Wrap up starts with three summary tasks, prepare reports, send report package and close the books. Let's start with prepare reports and we're going to click select and we're going to be able to choose from management reports. If this is the first time you've done this, there will be two to choose from the basic company financials and the expanded company financials. I'm going to choose the basic company financials and click open. And there what I'm going to do is I'm going to customize my management report the way that I see fit. I can add a logo, I can change different sections like the cover title, I can include or exclude different reports. Once that's done, I'm going to click save and close in the bottom right. And so that QuickBooks preserves the template, I'm going to append this with my initials. I'm going to click save and then save and close. Next, we're going to be able to send that report package. I'm going to click on the blue send, and this is going to open the management reports dashboard. Then I'm going to go over to the action column, click the view drop down, and choose send. Then I just want to fill out the email as appropriate and click send email. Let's go back to the wrap up and finally, when everything is good, we're going to be able to close the books. So clicking close now is going to open account and settings in a separate window. And we're going to be able to close our books for the end of January. And we're going to click save and we're going to click done. And then we're going to go back to our books review. Don't forget to change the status once you've completed your tasks. And then of course you can add any additional items as you see fit. I use books review for all my clients and I hope this takes your practice to the next level.